Okay, so here is my bandsaw sled. It's all take down, as you'll notice, the two legs on the right, the bed, and then the uh, bench. So uh, here's the handle. Um, it's fairly simple in uh, how it works. Put a couple dowels to stop, screw in the ends of the log to stabilize it, and push it through the bandsaw. Notice the the bed has one dovetail through it. The other two are uh, regular dados throughout. Here's just a couple of wide shot pictures before we get started with the video. So here we are putting the uh, one of many big cants. This is. Uh, red oak that came from a log cabin that we're repurposing but it was all twisted and whatnot so we had to straighten it out on the bandsaw so I made this sled and I measure and I fuss with it and get it to where I need it to get the bottom side has already been straightened we already did a straight straight line cut on that with the uh, bandsaw earlier so we secure, like I said, with a couple of screws through the front and the back. And those don't move. The, the friction from that and the dovetail um, you know, slide, you, you really don't need the dowels. In fact, we took them out of the back. The front there still has them. And again, there's the dovetail track on the top of the bed that the two stops run on. And then there's just two dados for the track on the bench itself. And like I said, everything uh, is, is knocked down, so it's all held together and on, on the bandsaw with clamps. And so here we go. And it's a zero clearance bed, meaning uh, we know exactly where that cut's going to be based on where the bed is, the edge of the bed is. So we threw a cool couple of cool uh, shots here of the bandsaw actually in action. This is a great bandsaw. It's from 1940. It's a Montgomery Ward 16-inch um, bandsaw running on 220 with a two-horse motor and that's a half-inch resaw blade, standard steel. So, And I made the, the sled itself. It, it'll take um, about seven and a half foot long boards so that's what we're doing now we they started out at about nine feet so we just bring them over to the miter station that radio alarm saw is worthless it's I don't know about about a half a horse but uh, this is the Bosch axial glide miter saw 12 inch and uh, it does a great job of cutting this oak up That's my dad helping me out. They're down visiting for a weekend. <clears throat> this really, though, the bed, it, it, you could do it with one person. It's just faster to do it with two, just, and it's easier on the back. Here's another shot. Uh, this is the first straight line rip. Uh, we always do the small side first, and then put it on end, and then uh, do the second side. second side when we do it gives you that 90 degree corner you need to mill up the rest of the stock on your table saw and on with your thickness planer and jointer. This is just a cool little shadow. The wheels on the bandsaw have three holes. I just thought that was kind of fun. And so that's about it. That's how you use the sled. If you got any questions, put your comments down below. Um, always welcome them. Positive comments, questions. This about I milled up about 300 board feet of red oak today, so kind of worked out. And then anybody who lives in Oklahoma wants some quarter inch 
red oak veneer and I've got tons of it now so thanks for watching and uh, get out there and do some woodworking <laughs>